Um, I have been wanting to create a video um, about certain things uh, for the past few days, but um, I haven't been feeling too well, so I haven't gotten around to it. I figured um, I would just do a voiceover, um, and uh, hopefully you guys will get my point without having to see me, because um, I am not in my, <laughs> my best um, look right now, um, being uh, sick and stuff um, and, and dirty right now from cleaning today. So. Um, I wanted to talk about forgiveness um, and letting go, um, and the reason why I do it, or I apologize and forgive, um, let go of things, um, you know, I never used to before. I used to hold on to so much, and I used to hold so much anger over the smallest things and stupid things and I will hold it over people's heads um, things as simple as like, not taking out the trash <laughs> you know when my husband may be going outside um, or a pile of dishes that are piling up when I just didn't feel well no one did the dishes for me um, you know those simple little things that really don't mean anything in your life. Um, I used to hold it over people's heads. So just imagine all the other things that I I held in, um, which you know caused myself problems. When you hold on to your struggling, to your anger, to your pain, you hurt yourself. And it comes out in in um, chronic pain in the body. It comes out in depression. It comes out in overweight. Um, it comes out in so many ways that just destroys our spirit and our lives. And it's useless. It doesn't do us any good. And it is definitely not God's way. <laughs> I forgive not because I am in the wrong. I apologize not because I'm weak. It is because I want peace in my heart. And I want a better life. Not just for myself. But if I do that, I show everybody around me that it's possible to do as well. And when you just give love, and when you come from pure love, because you know in your heart that it is right, and that it is good, and coming from a pure place, you have nothing else but to receive the same thing. And you are healing yourself. When you heal yourself, you are allowing love to come in. Um, whether it's you believing in God, in a higher power, whatever your religion is, or if you just believe in laws of attraction. What you give selflessly and from your heart, and if you mean it, you receive it. You know, I've been living in a great place for several, several months, and a lot of great things have come into my life. But things are still going to happen because there's other people who are involved. And I talk about taking responsibility for your actions. If you say something wrong because you haven't stopped taking a deep breath and respond appropriately, you cause a chain of reaction that doesn't just affect you, it's going to affect the next person, the person who you are directing it to. And then, therefore, it'll go to somebody else as well. And if it's a family issue, imagine the entire family being affected by this one probably stupid situation that manifested into something huge and blown out of proportion. All because you didn't breathe. Take a moment. 
and you know react appropriately with that situation. Um, for instance, like when I was hurting all those years, um, you know, my physical pain, it made me so angry. I questioned why all the time. And it was directed to the ones that I loved. You know, I didn't want to be around my husband. I was tired of having to cook when I was hurting having to go to the grocery store when I was able to drive. And ironically, <laughs> they took away my license for five years, and I was upset about that too. Um, I got so upset that I even told my sister, who was no longer here with me, who's in heaven, and my mother to not come over to see me because I was so much in pain. I was so angry. I, and I directed it out to the entire world. So by me being angry from my pain and my struggling, I took it out on the ones that I loved and, and my mother and my sister, but it didn't just affect them, them too. I influenced my husband's opinion about my family. And who knows what I did to my son my son couldn't see his aunt when he wanted to or his nephew and he couldn't see his grandma whenever he wanted to because of my pain and my anger so it's not just you who is affected by your own pain and by your own struggling and by, and by your own outbursts in life when you are still when you are more calm and when you have peace in your heart, in your mind, you think about those things and you always are coming from love and you don't want to hurt other people. And even when you do hurt someone, you're the first to apologize. You're the first to forgive because you understand in order to do so, you live and you can possibly allow that other person to have peace in their life as well. So I don't do it because I'm wrong anymore these days or because I'm weak. I do it because I'm strong. Because I come from love. Because I am love. Because I come from peace. Because I have God in my heart. I'm a follower of Jesus Christ, and I want nothing but happiness for myself and for the ones around me. I hope, I pray, that you all want that for your life as well. It's time to let go of things, to forgive and apologize, because you want that inner peace. You want a calmness and a love that's in your heart, and it will radiate everywhere around you. It will come back to you more than you will ever realize. There's goodness in this world, but you have to put it out there first. <laughs>